Hey guys, how's it going? Now when I was in New York, I said I was going to buy some new amplifiers, and I did. Here's what I bought. I bought the Crown XTI series of amplifiers. This is an XTI 4000, but I also bought a 2000. This little guy right here, 17 pounds, less than 17 pounds, is 650 watts per side at 8 ohms, and it will crush your head at 3200 watts bridge mono 4 ohms. 3200 watts and under 1700 pounds. That's impressive for those of you who uh, know anything about amplifiers. Now these came out in I think 1986, or 19, uh, 2006, sorry, 2006, get, to, get with the Millennium Brian. And I was a little afraid of them at first because it was really new technology. They're digital amplifiers, there's digital signal processing in these, you can adjust them with computers, adjust crossover points, EQ points, uh, limiter points, all kinds of stuff. I was like, you know, something's going to go wrong. I don't want to get in on this until they've been time tested and proven. Well, this is 2008. They've had a couple years and I have heard no complaints. I've been waiting two years for these amplifiers, at least two years. So here we are. I made the big purchase. Let me show you a few things about these amplifiers that are a little different than other amplifiers. Okay, here's the back of the amplifier just to start. Of course, you have your AC in here. Right here, there's where you can plug in your banana plugs. Now what you do is you unscrew these guys right here, and they actually go on the top. So you can do banana plugs with these, or alternately, which is what I'm doing with uh, at least my uh, 2000, is I'm using the Speak On right here, the quick release Speak On cables. I had some I picked up. Remember the Cable Guy video? Well, uh, Groove and DJ, kiss my butt. Those cables I paid a little bit of nothing for, and they're coming in handy now. Anyhow, moving right along, you have uh, your inputs, of course, this is uh, where you send your signal into the amplifier. You also have the link outs, which means you can link these amplifiers together, which comes in handy. The reason that really comes in handy is because these amps have built-in crossovers, which we'll show you a little later. And then right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'll zoom in. There's a little place you can plug in a USB cable. Well, that's certainly new, isn't it? Some of you might already have that on amps, but I've never seen it before. That way you can interface your amplifier with the computer and do some fine tuning. And here's the front of the amplifier. We'll zoom in a little bit here. Of course, you can see on the left and the right you have the level indicators and the volume knobs. As you can see where the volume knobs are set, this amp was set to bridge mono. It is still set to bridge mono, actually. And then right here, you have an LCD display and a couple of buttons that allow you to search through some menus. Now I don't know if you can read that or not, probably not. That's the digital display for the XTI 4000. It says bridge subs. Now that is one of the preset settings in this amplifier that you can use. If you select the option bridge subs, basically what you get is a low pass filter of 90 Hertz, which means 90 Hertz and below goes to the sub and no other frequencies enter that subwoofer. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you look up here, this says preset 6. I actually went into a computer program and did a custom crossover for this amplifier. This is the XCI 2000. Now how did I do that? Let me show you. I've got the USB connected from my computer to my amplifier, to my 2000 right now. This is a program called System Architect. Now, it takes a few minutes to load, literally. Once you click on the icon, it probably takes a good minute to load the whole thing in. Okay, here we are in System Architect. Now, I'm going to zoom in. If you look up here, the amplifier that we have connected to the computer is shown right here. Whoops, sorry about that. Right there. Now, I'm going to double-click on the amplifier itself. And here we get a little menu and I know it's hard to see here but you can do all sorts of things with this little menu you can assign input you can assign output EQ and crossover let me just show you crossover because that's what we were talking about double click on crossover and it opens up into this menu now you have two options independent and crossover now you don't want to use crossover that's one that one's a little weird that means one sides for bass one sides for high so you click independent and here is where you adjust your crossover for your left and your right 
Now these are the only tools we're using right now. We're using a Crown XTI 2000 for the top cabs running in stereo and an XTI 4000 running mono on the subs. Now I've got more than enough power. That rattle sound you hear is my house rattling, not the speaker. Now I'm going to turn the 2000 all the way down so all you hear is the 4000 and the sub at the 90 hertz low pass filter. Again, that's my house rattling, not the sub. And that's what my KRX-115 sound like crossed over at a high pass filter of 90 hertz. Bring it all together. Now before I close this video, I wanted to do a quick demonstration for our friend Jerry over in the UK. He asked me a while back, why do we use active crossovers. What's the point? There's a passive crossover built into the speaker itself that's supposed to separate the signals. Why bother using an active crossover? Well, let me give you a little demonstration. Well, I want to show you that right now with the XTI 400. Again, right now I have that amp set to uh, 90 Hz low pass filter bridge mono. I'm going to turn the 2000 down and only run the 4000 again. Now here, you don't hear anything but the thump. Everything 90 hertz and below is coming out of that sub and nothing else is bleeding through. Now I'm going to set this amp up real quick just for uh, science experiment purposes where we're running full range through that sub bridge mono. Okay, there you go. That is only bridge with no crossover. Can you hear vocals are bleeding through on there. All kinds of stuff's bleeding through on there. Give it a listen. Okay, now let's switch it back to the low pass filter bridge sub. Okay, we've switched it back to the low pass at 90 hertz. So you can hear a difference. So there you have it, my new amplifiers, and I'm really looking forward to trying them out this weekend at my two gigs. That you'll, you'll see them on a gig log. Now a lot of people are also asking me, hey Bri, what's up? Why don't you just get powered speakers and be done with it? Well, here's the thing. Check it out. At 17 pounds a piece, not 1,700 pounds like I said earlier, oops. At 17 pounds a piece, I come in lighter than I would with powered speakers. If you count into how much a sub's going to weigh with a built-in amplifier and how much two speakers of th this magnitude are going to weigh with built-in amplifiers in them as well. Also, what I can do is I can run another set of JRX 115s on either side parallel with these amplifiers and double my top end. I go from like 475 watts. I can't remember exactly what they are with what the 2000 is. I think it's like 475 watts at 8 ohms to like 800 watts at 4 ohms. So I double my power and I'm in so much lighter. It's all about weight with me. I'm trying to keep the weight down because I'm trying to save my back. I can carry both of these amplifiers in a case, no problem, with one hand. And that's why I bought these amplifiers and that's why I didn't go with active speakers. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any kind of Crown Amplifier at all, and you have questions on your Crown Amplifier, try Crown Forums. I had a question. I asked it in Crown Forums, and a tech from Crown got back to me within a couple hours. And I asked that question very late, at, or early in the morning, rather. It was like 4 in the morning. And someone still got back to me relatively quick. So check out Crown Forums. There you have it. Any questions, feel free to ask, practice, and enjoy.